Well, hello there, Soul Tribe. Well, welcome back to my channel, The African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine. Thank you very much for joining me for another session of a weekly psychic forecast for the week ahead. This is for the 21st to the 28th of October. So this is the next seven days. Remember, time is a fluid. So whenever you do find this reading, that's the right time for you. Let's jump right into the messages. The first message I get for the next seven days is that you need to have positive expectations. So as you're praying, you're doing your affirmations, you're talking to your spirit guides, expect positive things to happen for you. Um, because, you know, when you start off your prayers and you're expectant of your prayers being answered, the chances of them being answered faster is, is much greater. So have positive expectations and proceed with faith and gratitude. I also see that uh, some of the fruits of your labor are coming in for many of you in the next seven days. You're putting the hard work and the harvest is coming in. And you, you could um, get a bigger harvest than what you're expecting or there's an act of generosity. Someone is going to give you a, a lot of money unexpectedly that's possible as well. If this should happen, Spirit is asking you to be generous with your resources. Be sure to also give to others in a very generous way. Um, for some of you, Spirit is asking, to be, asking you to be generous with your wisdom, with your knowledge, with your gifts as well. Share your gifts with others. Make it a, a calling, something that you help others with. That's going to be a beautiful message. So in the next seven days as well, I'm seeing that some people may be going through some sort of attack or pain or fear or some judgment or some form of separation going on remember that any attacks or fear or pain are just merely cause for help then there's times when a person will attack you over and over again because they're like you know what please help me i can't stop myself i need someone to step in and help me that's a message coming through right here thank you very much for your support for my channel I am a clairvoyant, clear audiscent, um, and I'm an empath. This means that I hear words and phrases and visions, I hear sounds, and I also see visions, things that have happened or that will happen, and I may speak as if I'm you or someone else that you know during the course of the reading. Welcome to the African Gypsy. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you feel that way called. So coming in, I see that this week, uh, in the next seven days, some of you may be thinking about selling off some assets to get some money to free up some liquid cash and stuff like that. Spirit is saying that this is not the right time to do that. You will be able to manage your economies through wise and judicious management of your financial affairs. This means knowing I need to pay so-and-so and pay this one and pay this one, get money from that one to balance everything off until the dry spell ends for some of you. Some of you as well may be getting into positions where you're working with your skills and your talents and you're making a lot of progress that you have never normally thought you could possibly make. Some of you are acquiring power and influence as well. I feel that in this week, a lot of you are going to be the energy of being very cutthroat, very intelligent, very analytical, taking no nonsense, so to speak. And you're going to be very analytical. And with that, some people may describe you as a person who's very cutthroat, like you make decisions, they're like, okay, that's it, fine. I made my decision, I'm moving off with this. For a couple of you, not everyone, you're dealing with someone who's very spiteful, very vengeful, very hateful, someone who wants to win at all costs, um, who doesn't mind who they hurt in the process. This is just for uh, like five or six of you watching this video right now. If you want to know that's your story in particular, um, please be sure to book a personal reading with me. My details will be down in the description box down below. So I also feel that some of you are going to be getting some very uh, valid advice in the next seven days, advice that's going to help you to move forward in very powerful ways. You need to follow this advice, especially if it is advice of a financial matter, because this advice may be leading to profitability. This advice may be coming from someone who's very hardworking, very honest, someone who, um, who, who just really knows things about finances that other people don't commonly know. And this is, advice is coming in for you quite strong, and there's a very beautiful energy to be moving forward in. In the past, some of you had to take care of some paperwork, administration, documentation. You may have had the help of younger people to help you to fill up some documentation, and that's coming out quite all right. I feel as well for a couple of you, this is another area where someone is trying to delay your, your documentation or your paperwork from being processed. Someone is vengeful, someone who has it out for you. Uh, but I feel that you're going to overcome whatever the challenge is anyway in the next seven days. Many of you are going to be moving this hermit mode. This came up last week, if you watched the video last week, the weekly psychic forecast for last week, taking a tactical retreat from the world. And as you know, retreat is not surrender. It's backing off, analyzing the things around you, properly proce processing the information around you. Like, okay, I've seen A, B, and C. What does this really mean? What does this say to me? And you're praying planning and preparing for very important projects. Because as you launch forward into the future, like in, in midweek or so like that, 
Uh, many of you are going to be called on to listen to your intuition, to your gut feeling as you move forward so you can make the best decisions ever for yourselves. Some of you feel like you know your strength is seeping out or you're being drained of energy and it's, it's a, like an, an, an emergency need for you to back off and to pull back your energy so that you can replenish your energy. Maybe you're over giving of your energy, your time, your resources or whatever the situation is and you're needing to pull back just a bit so you can uh, rebalance the energies at play in the next seven days. I also feel that some of you are wanting to take a leap of faith in terms of financial advice or financial matters. You're wanting to invest in something you've never invested in before or take advice that you've never really listened to before. Um, and this is a leap of faith, but I feel like it's going to work out very well for you. For some of you, this advice started coming to you in the month of April. Someone told you, you know what, you need to start up a website doing A, B, and C. And you're like, oh, okay, let me think about it. Let me see if this fits my profile. Let me see if this is me, if I can gather the resources and the manpower. And of course, the thinking capacity to unroll this, uh, this project. And it's working out well. You're being advised, you know what, you're on the money. Keep going. Keep doing it. This is the good thing for you. It's really, really good. I see towards the end of the week, many of you are going to be getting um, help from your spiritual guides because I see the great grandfather card coming out, the ancestors coming out, and he's coming out with revelations and enlightenment. Let's get the spiritual intel straight from grandpa here. Grandpa, what is going on? What is the advice for the, in, for the collective? What's the spiritual intel? What does your grandpa want you to um, realize in the next seven days? Your grandpa wants you to look at things from a different perspective, especially concerning your investments, where you're investing your time, your energy, your affections, and, and anything else that we're related as well. Because your intuition is spot on. You've got the grandpa and the grandma coming out. So a lot of your spirit guides are coming through to tell you who you need to invest in, what you need to invest in. And for some of you, intuitively, you're catching a thief. So grandpa and grandma are saying to you, you know, child, you see that sneaky character over there? You need to be aware of them. And I know some of you are like, what? Sunshine saying that someone's been sneaky and spying and trying to steal and stuff like that. Ooh, child, they go lie too much. And you go back to the video a few weeks later, they're like, wait, Sunshine said that I was going to catch something sneaky. That's it right there. My intuition was spot on. That girl was telling the truth. Ooh, lordy. I should have listened to Sunshine the first time around. I'm hearing this for someone in particular. So your gut feeling is, is, is onto something. This person you're onto may be a Sagittarius born in December. Let's see why else Grandpa is talking about this character who's sneaky. Why is it so important for us to know this in the next seven days? We're catching some sort of funny energy. Someone has been um, seeing that you're very independent. And things are moving forward for you, you're self-reliant, you're moving forward, and they're thinking you're all alone. They think you're like this all alone, but they don't realize that Gramps and Grandma are there with you to guide you and protect you. Let's find out from the cheeky madams. What do the cheeky madams have to say about this sneaky character? Let's get some spiritual intel right there. What do the cheeky madams have to say? For some of you, this is playing out on a Sunday, so to at the very end of the week, like I said, Gramps is coming in with some intel about something that you weren't aware of before. What else is going on? Merchants of chaos and distraction. They buy and sell information. They buy and sell chaos. Their payoff is when the chaos come in. Shout out to Ruimbo. Their payoff is when the chaos comes in. And because when there's chaos, they're not held accountable. When you're busy firefighting, like, why did this break down? Why did this go wrong? You're too busy, too distracted to see what they're really up to. And then they can make good their escape while you're busy like that. Why, why else has Grams come to talk about these sneaky characters? What do the cheeky madams have to say? For some of you, it's a toxic ex who's trying to come in and cause a lot of chaos and confusion for you, sneaking around, keeping tabs on you. For some of you, this ex wants to come and steal from you. This is not a message for everyone. If it's your message, you feel it in your solar plexus. You're like, mm, this message, they talk to me now. Hey, if they talk to me now, straight, straight. I hear it so, hey? So, and this ex is going to come in saying, I just want to talk about things. That's your, that's your, that's your hint. That, that is your clue, that's your cue, when this ex comes in and says, no, I just want to talk about things. You know, that's not the case. They're trying to come in and make away with everything else that they weren't able to get away with the first time around. But you shall never experience this time of pain or trauma again, because your spirit guides are there to reveal these things to you so that you don't repeat the same mistakes. A new opportunity is on its way and they can't stop it. 
these haters, this toxic ex has picked up, like I said earlier on, that someone saying that you're very independent and something's going in your favor and there's a new opportunity opening up for you. You know, I've, I have found a lot of readers are picking up this energy of something good along the way and someone wanting to block it before it manifests. So keep prayed up. You know, talk to your spirit guides, your ancestors and tell them, you know what, please protect my blessings, protect what's coming to me because you are protected just as I am protected by spirit, by source, and nothing shall by any means harm us. Yeah, for some of you, being uh, there's two sevens coming up as well. So this cycle with this toxic ex is coming to an end We've got the, with the wheel as well. This is concluded, two sevens. This is concluded. This is done. It's finished. There we've got two sevens. What a he among the way when the two sevens clash. So, yeah. Something's about to clash. Let's find out a bit more right here. What is Spirit saying? Sorry about the soul tribe. I just had to pause the video real fast. Someone really didn't want me to give out this message. <clears throat> oh gosh. Someone may be crying tears because this message has come out as well. They didn't want you to know that they're sneaking around and this is their best shot coming in for you. They're doing some research on you. Okay, let's follow another storyline coming up. What is, um, what are you thinking about in your hermit mode when you take a tactical retreat from the world? What are you focusing on? What do you need to focus on? On being confident, listening to your gut feeling, your intuition. Yeah, because something is about to be revealed as the phases of the moon, moon come in. Something is being revealed and you need to be confident and move confidently on the intel that you're going to receive from spirit and all of that. Yeah. Coming up. For the collective, what does the collective need to know? Clear, concise messages. Yeah, again, about your investments. Someone is watching what you're investing your time, your energy, and your efforts into right there. Someone's watching. Can you see the guy skyring there, looking to the cup, looking at what these people are doing right there? What are they investing in? What's coming up? When are they expecting it? What's going on? What else do you need to know about that situation? Yeah, this could be to justice is coming to the situation. Justice is coming to the situation. It's going to make someone have to take a different path and block off someone. Again, the third. Oh my gosh, we've got a quad seven coming in. Some cycle is coming to an end this week, guys. Something that's been going on over and over again is coming to a complete halt. And this is making you gain a, a power and influence. For some of you, I feel that there's an ex of yours who didn't want you to move forward in life. And they were doing the most to try and block off your progress. But that's coming to an end and things are going to work out much better for you. Let's find out as well, what is, um, what is in your environment? What are the environmental factors that will help you or hinder you? What is in your environment? What is in your environment? Oh, wow. For some of you, there's a new business coming up that someone is being very vengeful and jealous about. A new business that may need some manner of research. You may need to go deep down and find out exactly how you do this business, how it works and all of that. That's in your environment. And you've made a decision about what to study. Some of you may be going back to school. Some of you are just taking up an inline course, online course in line, online course. And uh, some of you are starting something totally brand new because some cycle is over and done. You see, we've got the 10, we've got uh, five sevens that have come through already in this reading. Some cycle is coming to an end in the next seven days. Things are about to turn around for someone. Someone's going, about to go into their wealthy place, wealth. For some of you, it could be pregnancy, motherhood as well, for just a few of you. And some of you, you're de mostly detaching yourself from a situation that has not served you at all. It has not made you happy. And you're like, you know what? I'm not happy with this situation. I need to move on forward from the situation because I'm not a tree, damn it. If I don't like the situation, I need to do something to change it. So let's see. There's a leap of faith that you're wanting to take. For some of you, is to walk away towards love. Sorry. So for some of you, you're walking away from a situation that no longer serves you to find love. You're going towards a partnership, towards love, and, and it's going to really improve your health as well, being in this love. And this is going to be a lucky break for someone. Someone who's going to be sitting back one year and saying, you know what, the day I met Daniel was the luckiest day in my life or whoever it is, you know, whatever the situation is. So someone is making different decisions because for some of you, I feel like there was, uh, you were in a cycle for one, for some, it stopped you from making wise investments. For some of you, this cycle brought karmic lovers to your life all the time. 
you know, that bus full of no gooders, the uh, fraudsters, the double dealers, the lying, cheating, stealing, um, non committal kind of boy or girl, whatever your situation is, and that cycle is coming to an end. Spirit is saying this is coming to an end. For just a few of you, I feel that there might be a need for a spiritual cleansing. If that is you, my details will be in the description box down below. You can book your cleansing with me. Let's find out more here. What else does the collective need to know? Ace of Swords says it's the truth. Listen to your intuition. Be patient. Something's about to pay off. And it's paying off real big because you value yourself differently now. So I'm picking up as well that in the next seven days, um, if someone has been doing some prayers, so stay prayed up. There's been a download coming out for a number of people that I've uh, who have spoken to over the past few weeks when they've all been dreaming about crowds of people attacking them or crowds of people involved in some form of atrocities, crowds of people wanting to come up against them. And I promised a couple of um, my clients for the cleansings to also touch on that in the reading for this week. Let's find out. Why is the collective dreaming about these crowds? This is because you've come to a point in your life where you've made different decisions. You got to um, a crossroads and decided to choose you. Yeah, important decisions had to be made. And you chose you and some important transactions coming at you. So remember, I always say how witchcraft is a team sport. So a whole lot of haters, some that you don't even know are working together behind the scenes, are coming together because they have orders to try and stop you from moving forward from a two of pentacles to a three of pentacles, where you're going to have a lot of supportive teams helping you, people working together with you. And some of you, you're going to be very popular. And this is a shock for all these comics collective comics comics collectives uh yeah look at this a shock that you're going to be a success and they're trying to stop you before you get to your wealthy place an order has gone up like and said you know what so and so mackenzie's got the ball you need to make sure you mark that person and they're all crawling out of the woodwork from oh different see crawling out of the wood bag trying to topple you down trying to take you from from your standpoint to bring you down a notch or two or three so that you can match their vibration because they know that they can't have a vibrate as high as you are you fast you pray you keep yourself from all sorts of evil and stuff like that so that you, your spirit can be clean and these people don't want to do the work so they want to bring you down to their level instead of working hard to come up to your level but spirit is saying it's not going to work your investment is still coming in and you are the magician. Look at this. You're manifesting new wealth, generational wealth. And they can't stop you. An investment that's going to go on for a long time. Because you know that you're cutting off people. The queen of swords cutting off people, places and situations that don't serve your highest good. So that things can start moving in your favor. Two tens. The cycle is over and they know that this is their last chance to try and get to you. I've got uh, someone coming through here who's been trying to watch you, trying to stop your independence, trying to stop your progress and your expansion, but they can't get you further than this. It's like they were told, if you don't get this person by the 22nd of August, you're not going to get them again. So that's why it's been like this. Amitos used the word bull rush. There's been a bull rush to try and stop you. <clears throat> but I feel like it's not going to work. My gosh, my throat chakra has just been going throughout this reading. Someone really did not want me to deliver this message. But whether they like it or not, we are delivering the message because that is our calling. We're here to bring you tomorrow's news today. <laughs> Let's find out what more. All right, Spirit, what intel? There we've got the sneaky character at the bottom of the deck right there. What spiritual intel does the collective need for the next seven days? Clear, concise messages. It was the six of Pentecalis. Yeah, you got a light bulb moment. The light bulbs went off for you. It's like, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, now I'm cooking with gas. This is exactly what I need to be doing. And you've learned your lessons. Yeah, it's true. The Ace of Swords says it's true. You're putting something to rest. You, some of you may be doing the Scorpio. You're putting something to rest. Spirit is saying it's true. In the next seven days, something is going to come to rest. A battle you've been fighting for a very long time in your life is coming to rest in the next seven days. It doesn't matter how many years they've fought you. It doesn't matter how much money they've invested into fighting you. But in the next seven days, it's coming to an end. Whenever you find this reading, that's your seven days. That's your timeline right there. For some of you, this is when this, as the cycle comes to an end, there's going to be a reconciliation. Who's the reconciliation with? With for some with a Leo, but you're going to be taking time to contemplate. Like, do, do I really want to go that way, or have I not healed quite well without this person's interference? Do I need to go that way or not? For some of you, you're going towards new love. So remember I said earlier on, some curse was put on a couple of you only to keep you um, attracting karmic partners. Some of you are finding a brand new love. Some of you are finding self-love. 
and you're finding your soul tribe, people who are equally matched to you, people who love you, you're no longer going to be left out in the cold like you were before because you've healed from the heartbreak. As you heal from the heartbreak that you went through, your vibration lifted and you started attracting better people in your life. The Ace of Swords says it's true. And you've realized that the more you start loving yourself, the more you attract people who can love you the same way you love on yourself, child. Yeah. How are you going to recognize love if you're not even giving it to yourself? Mm. Let's find out more here. Someone needs to rest. Someone needs to sleep. They have not been resting as much as they possibly can. And with that energy, as you rest more and you come out of this um, energy of, 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 being, uh, of being worried, of being up at night, you'll find that you're able to manifest much better. So the Spirit is giving you a chance to try and rest so that you can manifest on a stronger kind of a, a path. Oh, look at this. Someone's, this is flipped over. Someone's manifesting new money or a new job. But look at this. Someone who's non-committal is very in and out, is wanting to come in because of these finances. All right, my soul tribe, Spirit is saying I should leave it right there. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my details will be down in the description box down below. Until the next one, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. This is your girl, Sunshine, signing out.